Good afternoon, buon pomeriggio, new episode of the talk show Smile and Shine broadcasted on Italy Echo WNTN Radio Boston. Everybody is preparing for the holiday season here in Boston, me included, as you can tell from my ugly sweater. And this is your host, Viviana Dragani. Hello, everybody. This is your co-host, uh, Claudia Maragno. Uh, welcome back to a new episode of uh, Smile and Shine, the only bilingual Italian-American talk show in New England. Today, I am extremely happy and proud to introduce a new guest, Jana Pamic, who is the, the owner of Pastelli, which is a company that works primarily in the uh, dental uh, field. Have you ever tried to rinse off your clothes right after laundry? If you want to know more about it, stay with us. So before we dig into it, Show real. Today, we are absolutely proud to introduce a guest of ours, Jana Pamic from Pastelli Clothing. And I will start by introducing our guest who boasts a psychology degree from the University of, of Padua. She trained uh, in the very, very prestigious Fashion Institute, the Secoli Institute in Milan, an internationally a renowned uh, fashion academy where she could develop her textile and tailoring knowledge and expertise. Beside that, uh, Donna Pamic went through an extensive uh, communication and leadership training. And beside the management of her extremely uh, successful company, has been president for four years of UNID, which is the Italian National Union of Dental Industries. Thank you, Claudia and Viviana, for having invited me. It's a pleasure to be there with you. My pleasure, Mrs. Pamic. So let's start to talk a little bit about the story of Pastelli. Uh, it's a long history. My grandfather started it almost 100 years ago, in uh, the 1929, in uh, Italy and uh, started this uh, textile company. And that time they were producing raincoat. So my mother grown up in this reality, learning all the skill of the old craftsmanship methods uh, and uh, tailoring uh, and so on. And when she met my father, that uh, was uh, a dental and pharmaceutical importer, she got the idea to produce uh, nicer medical cloth. So uh, this is how the Pastelli adventure started. And uh, I'm proud that still nowadays, uh, we are a family run company and uh, with a really skilled group of uh, employees that really help us at their best. Wow. And uh, we know also that Pastelli has always been deeply involved uh, uh, with sustainability. So we wanted to ask you, which specific uh, measures are you currently taking to keep Pastelli a green and sustainable uh, company? Uh, you know, Claudia, in reality, we always have been a green company. From the very beginning, 40 years ago, 45 years ago, no one was thinking about uh, the pollution caused by textiles, uh, uh, finishing, or potential skin allergies that are caused by uh, synthetic fibers uh, or uh, color chemical components. 
And uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, and also at that time, sorry, uh, also at that time, it was uh, very difficult to find something that was a medical cloth built uh, following uh, specific rules. So uh, our idea was uh, to produce only natural fibers with uh, the strictest rules in order to avoid any kind of pollution. And uh, at that time, also fast fashion was uh, something no one was thinking about. And uh, uh, so it took time before to have uh, and to reach some international rules on this regard. It was uh, only the 1992, the European uh, promoted a, a new law, let's say, in order to avoid uh, the lead to be used when uh, coloring the fabrics. But even nowadays, outside Europe, there are no fixed rules. And uh, since 90% of the textile is produced abroad, obviously uh, it may contain a lot of chemicals. So uh, let's say that we produce everything in Italy. This means we uh, create no pollution, this means uh, our uh, uh, fabrics are uh, allergy free. This means uh, we, our workers are working uh, in a safe company and with the greatest respect. And all these kind of things uh, make us uh, a company that you may trust mm -hmm. and that it create absolutely no damages to the environment or uh, to the people have. Wow, wow, your commitment to the environment is really, really remarkable. So let me understand better. You are also reusing uniforms and fabric, is that correct? Uh, in reality, no. We have built what is uh, internationally renowned in our field as the famous Pastelli fabric. Uh, we are uh, famous, or our fabric is famous, because of the incredible long-lasting. We have clients that are still wearing it in perfect condition, as new, after 10 years of hard washing, sterilization, and disinfection. So the quality we provide is so high that Unfortunately for us, usually our clients give their old clothes to the young son or daughter that are starting and join the profession. So uh, there is no need to reuse our clothes uh, unless we go to look for the one made 20 years ago. Also, uh, 10 years ago, perhaps more 11, we uh, built another fabric uh, with the fibers that came from uh, recycled plastic bottles. Nowadays, this concept uh, is uh, really popular, but uh, 10 years ago, no one was uh, speaking about it. And we created also another indestructible fabric that uh, is breathable as a cotton, is nice, is soft, and when you are tired of it, because you cannot destroy it, so you simply throw it together with your plastic bottles. So this is our concept of reusing, but more than reusing is better to buy something, being aware that is something that will last years instead of uh, fast fashion uh, with uh, the thinking that after three months it may be recycled, reused in something else. Wow, wow. This is really, really impressive how uh, Pastelli is so committed to sustainability and how uh, is pr probably a leader uh, worldwide in terms of being a green and sustainable uh, company. We would like to give you 30 seconds of break. Stay with us. <laughs>
Bentornati, welcome back to Smile and Shine. Mrs. Pamich, today we would like also to introduce another topic that is a key factor in the success of Pastelli. What is the impact of nanotechnologies in your business? This is another important question. <laughs> Nanotechnology is a great and important achievement in our era. And the more and more textile finishing uh, are available almost every day with this new technology. They grant uh, to fabrics uh, to be antibacterial, to be antifungal, antiviral, to give uh, impermeability to water, uh, to be biocide, biostatics, uh, many others. And uh, nanotechnology is widely used in uh, uh, inside the synthetic fibers for granting all this kind of effect. Uh, we tested it uh, from the very beginning when uh, at first this technology was available and uh, uh, we discovered that unfortunately on natural fibers the only um, system to fix uh, the nanoparticles were to fix them to the cotton or linen with uh, resins. And resins, of course, take out the uh, breathability. Uh, they make the fabrics no more persistent. Also, few people know that 35% uh, of the nanoparticles are washed away uh, just uh, of the first maintenance you do. And also when uh, you do some friction with your movement in the garment, you may spread the nanoparticles outside. So uh, we created an a antibacterial line uh, 10 years ago, but uh, in the time uh, we decided to stop the production of it because we were reading more and more uh, studies and researches made by important universities to the uh, impact of the nanoparticles on the environment, uh, on uh, the water, marine uh, life, uh, and uh, the quality of the air. So uh, we are continuously checking the new ways to apply those uh, nanotechnologies to fabric, but in reality, in this moment, uh, we are not using them. Uh, Luckily, there is an increasing awareness of the risk that is associated to uh, the disposal also of the uh, textiles made with this technology. And uh, let's say we really take care always from the environment and from the people health. So till the moment in which we will be absolutely sure that there is no risk connected, we will not use this technology for our clients. Uh, this is something that may be useful also for uh, people who are not in the medical field. Uh, when you buy something that is uh, labeled antibacterial, uh, you really doesn't know uh, that uh, the effect uh, is not immediate. It's not that if a virus came to your cloth, he will die immediately. It depends very much uh, of uh, uh, the technology used for doing it. And also of the country where you buy it. For instance, if you buy something uh, uh, antibacterial in Europe, uh, the label say it is antibacterial but you doesn't know if it is effective or not. In the sense that this is a, a crazy example, but just to give you an idea, in one meter of fabric, I may place two nanoparticles, and then it is labeled antibacterial. Meanwhile, for instance, in the USA, the norm is absolutely more serious, and they test how effective are the nanoparticles in getting the result. And uh, this is also very important. But uh, oh, at first, check labels 
and uh, check uh, where the fabrics was made. Because uh, if it is made in the USA, you will have the proof that if when it is labeled antibacterial, it is, and it works. Meanwhile, in other countries, uh, you cannot be so sure in this moment. This is uh, uh, really important in order also not to waste money. And thank you, Mrs. Pamic. It's very interesting to know more about uh, nanotechnologies. And what about water disinfectants? Uh, obviously, we are coming out from a period, and we are still in a period where everyone wants to disinfect everything. Uh, it is true, nevertheless, that uh, when applied to textile, disinfect is needed when you cannot reach uh, a certain temperature. You may reach disinfection simply washing something at 60 degrees or 140 Fahrenheit and washing for 30 minutes. Uh, meanwhile, if you want a sterilization, you must uh, reach 126 degrees and 260 Fahrenheit. Uh, unfortunately, nowadays, uh, uh, the fabrics in general cannot resist to high temperature. So people are used to wash them in cold or mild water. So there is the need to add a disinfectant. But uh, the disinfection uh, may be uh, avoided. And in this case, you also avoid uh, and uh, the water pollution uh, with the, the rinds of such products simply washing at a higher temperature. So choosing a fabric that may resist at least to 60 degrees, 140 Fahrenheit. And uh, this is why we suggested to our clients just to wash with a simple soap at medium high temperature and they will have a perfect disinfected cloth that will also last much more and they will uh, keep the color vivid and beautiful and they will remain as new for a longer time. Thank you, Mrs. Pamic. I know that you are also socially involved with others. So tell our audience a little bit about it. And also, I would like to know what is the vision that Pastelli has for the future? As a family, uh, we have a really special interest uh, in people with uh, disabilities. And uh, Obviously, as a family, in a private way, we support them greatly. Uh, also, as a company, we support uh, a no-profit dental association that gives free dental care to a no-profit dental association that gives free dental care to people with disabilities. Uh, then the vision for the future. The vision for the future is uh, to keep growing in an excellent way. Uh, excellence uh, uh, is not granted for free. You must work hard for getting it and uh, uh, you must have a clear vision of what you want. And uh, we want uh, a company uh, with a happy and competent employees. So we invest uh, continuously in uh, their uh, training and education. And not only uh, referred strictly to the work they are doing, but also in certain uh, communication and also um, how to deal even with a small uh, everyday family problems because we want the people who work with us to be absolutely happy and relaxed. We are not looking to expand to huge numbers but just to give a voice uh, to an old uh, artisan family company 
that still believe that the quality is something more of what you may see and touch. Thank you so much for uh, being with us uh, today. In uh, closure, I would like uh, to remind you a very, very interesting uh, book for your holiday break, Effetto Bianco, White uh, Effect, uh, a book that has already been translated in four languages and deals with uh, the relationship uh, between doctors and patients uh, due to to uh, the white effect of the uh, white coat. This book has been uh, written by Mrs. Jana Pamic uh, upon uh, Massimo Boccaletti's uh, suggestion, who's a famous Italian journalist. So if you uh, want to know more about it, you can find it online and is available both on Kindle and hard copy. Congratulations on your book, Mrs. Pamic. And in closure, we also wish to thank our sponsors, Clothing from Italy, 42N, 42N, Roberto Dolci, and Boston Italian Women. Happy holidays, everyone. Buone vacanze.